Hi everyone, so my name is Sharon Jeet, I'm Karen's sister and today I'm going to be doing a vlog takeover for I think day 18 of Vlogmas. So we woke up this morning, we got ready and we made our way via bus, public transport bus, we took two different ones to the Westfield Stratfield, Stratford Mall and it's a really great mall here really big lots of stores lots of restaurants whatever and we are going to watch a movie it's going to start in about five minutes it's a Hindi film called Murdani 2 starring Ronnie Mukherjee and um, yeah that'll be about like two and a half hours but right now we're just in Prada Manger and Baldeep is drinking a coffee and then Miss Karen is over there in the pink that's my pink coat where she right there and a pink like Borg coat from Topshop which is mine and then under that she has on an orange cropped Aritzia hoodie um well Beep has on a little fur jacket situation so the ladies have brought it with their style today I've kept it very casual I'm just wearing this green sweater I was really colorful black pair of jeans and my black jacket and here she is the diva herself and yes we're gonna head to the movie oh yeah i have a cupcake from lola's cupcakes sponsor if not if you're ever in london you should or i don't know if they're all over england but for sure they're in london you need to go here i always have the red velvet it's wicked good and we'll deep can vouch for some of their other flavors we'll deep I tried the passion fruit for the first time last night. It was pretty good, but I prefer blueberry. What other flavors did you try? We tried the coconut one. That was actually really good too. And I tried the peanut butter jelly. That was like meh. I've only ever had velvet, red velvet. And then one time I had like a plain like white cake vanilla type. And I didn't like this much as the red velvet, which is literally so moist. And usually I don't really like frosting, but the frosting it's really good, the cream cheese frosting on the red velvet at Lola's Cupcakes, so I always eat it. Um, but yeah, now it's time to go watch the movie. Just a fun fact, I've seen only two other movies here so far, two other Hindi movies. I only saw them like two weeks ago, which is weird because I'm a huge Hindi movie fan. Um, but there's no trailers. The start time, they you know dim the lights, but they just show advertisements like for random stuff like bank, Amazon. Let me finish seven. walking the post office, whatever, for like 15 minutes. No trailers. And then they have to do like a 15 minute intermission at the intermission point of a movie. Whereas at least in none of our cinemas that we go to to watch movies, they never do that. And I don't like it. Actually, no, I liked it one time because I was starting to feel a little tired. So I was able to use intermission to kind of like close my eyes and rest a little and refocus my energy. But for the most part, it's just like waste time. It's like, let's keep it moving. Um, but yeah, and speaking of let's keep it moving, we're going to get moving, watch the movie, and we'll let you know after, or I will let you know after how it is. Bye. We'll get to bye. Hi guys. So we just finished the movie. Um, it was good. It was quite intense. Not a perfect movie, but not the worst for sure. I think its strengths were definitely really good acting, like, you know, cinematography, good cat and mouse type game um, being played out on screen. Um, definitely not a kid's movie. I would not take your family to see this film. Well, maybe your adult family members, but no children, please spare them. Um, and yeah, now we're gonna have something to eat. And there's a couple food courts in the small. So we have to kind of like figure out what we want to eat, where's the best place, and then, yeah, probably talk to you then. Okay, you guys, so we've made it to our lunch spot. This is easy. Here are the girls, lost in thought and food. Um, this is our appetizer. It's like a garlic bread with mozzarella and caramelized onions. It's interesting. It's like a very thin pizza minus the sauce, but I kind of wanted a sauce. So we got this like, I think, garlic, red pepper, tapenade. Um, for dipping purposes. It's all right, but we'll see what we got. Um, we'll see how our entrees are. Okay, so the food has arrived. I got, like, what is this? Spaghetti Pomodoro. So literally just like spaghetti and um, 
like pasta sauce, and I think that's some, I don't know, burrata or uh, mozzarella on top. Some tomatoes are in there. Um, Miss Karen is having a soup. What type of soup, Karen? Um, it has quinoa, tomatoes, etc. That sounds good. Miss B got arancini. Delish. Tell them what is your favorite hippie movie in general. It doesn't have to necessarily be a hippie movie. Okay, guys, I know this is just tragic, but one of my favorite movies that I continue to watch. I mean, I have like five that I know are like great movies, but I really enjoy them. I'm so tough him. Honestly. I know they can make faces. Which good for them. I like a fish with gum. Oh my god, I hate K3G. It's so melodramatic. I really I don't like it. I love it. Really don't like so it. So good. Um, I also really like... I like Yuzara. I'm trying to think now, guys. I have too many movies running through my head. I'm like, I don't know. Is that my favorite? I know. Once you start You're talking like... about your favorites, you can't stop. Can give you five seconds, me. No, now favorites aren't running through my head, but lost movies are running through my head, and I'm like, I don't really like that. Okay, let's swing with Karen then. <laughs> yeah. Karina, do you have a favorite Hindi film or favorite movie in general? Um, let's actually do Hindi. Yeah. Um, Desi. Uh, I really like Andazan. Uh, Gup. And that's really about it that I can remember right now. I just went over them. I can't really remember them. I said Chiller Party. Really good. That's a kid-friendly movie. Hilarious, though, even still for adults. Um, Aligar. Really emotional, amazing acting. Like, par excellence type acting. Um, what did I say was three? Sadma, 1975. Kamal Hassan, Sri Devi movie. Very emotional. Um, if you've ever seen The Dirty Picture, Vidya Balan's movie, which is... Um, Kind of a biopic of Silk Smitha. Silk Smitha is actually in Andadun. Not Andadun, oh my god. Sadma. And what I had a fourth movie. It was a favorite, right? I don't remember what it was. I don't remember either. That makes me sad. That's why I needed to vlog on your phone, Karen. I, I could have. I feel like that is me first. Which part? That is me first. Well, Deep also likes that is a mean part, which I haven't seen. <laughs> Do you want to know why? Because when it came up, I didn't watch any movies. That was like a period of time where I didn't look in the direction of Hindi films. I love that I cried. Okay, okay, you guys. So I didn't want to um, leave you hanging on what my third favorite movie is. Oh, okay, this is what it is. So I actually have a list. It's called Movies to Watch. It's just like a Google Drive list. So at the top, I have some movies to watch. It's not all of them. Obviously, it's only 57. Um, and then I have the list of all the films I have watched that I at least can remember. So right now, I'm at 243. There's probably some I watched in my childhood that I don't remember. So when I say movies that I watched, I mean Indian movies. So mostly Hindi, but like, yeah, like there's a Telugu movie, Urdu, Tamil. Um, and yeah. So my fourth movie that I forgot to mention before was Kai Poche. Not that popular, but it definitely has ups and downs. And Baldeep just mentioned Orta Punjab. And I also I also really recommend that. It's really good. Karen's seen it. But I don't know if she loves it as much as I do. I thought it was just dope. I thought it was so good. Sandy Sandeep, uh, aka Sandy, aka Baldeep's sister, also really liked it. Let me just go quickly. What else is good? Kapoor and Sons is good. Build and Akhne, those good. Kahani's good. Queen's good. Um... I want to recommend maybe things you've not seen. Uh, let's see, The Lunchbox, um, John Bar, Bar, uh, English Vinglish, Mardani, Pavar, Razi, Mirja, NH10 I like a lot. Uh, I like mostly like modern movies. I think you can tell B seems to have a bit of a 90s stick going on. Well, I'm trying to think of newer movies now. Well, I really liked Cocktail when it came out. Oh my god, Kurt was the cocktail girl. She yeah. was like, let's go see Cocktail. I want to go see this movie. It was like weird, 
Because at that time, I definitely wasn't into Hindi movies, and Karen wasn't either. Like, she's not really that much anyways, but at that time, she definitely wasn't, but she was adamant about seeing Cocktail. I really enjoyed Cocktail, and I think that... Started to love for DP? Yeah, that started my love for DP, especially when she got hit by the car was like... I don't remember that. Spoiler alert! <laughs> well, I mean... Yeah, yeah, when she was, she was drunk and she was out on the street, and she was wearing, I think she was wearing a green dress, if I remember correctly. I don't remember. But, um, I think Cocktail, I mean, Cocktail was, is the career-defining moment for her. That's really when, like, the star that we know was born. But, yeah, let's end this. And... Okay, hey guys, so lunch is over. TVH was probably my least favorite food place we've had so far. But I wanted to eat there because there's this YouTuber I watch who's from the UK and would always go there and would rave about it. So I was curious, but like it was kind of Olive Garden y. But, anyways, now we're gonna do a little fun experiment slash activity. We're gonna go to Zara and I'm gonna style Miss B e and Miss K. And yeah, we're gonna see how it goes. Alright guys, we want to give you a little preview of what we're wearing right now. Thank you. We have an outfit situation and OOTD. We're in leather pants and sneaks. We're both wearing a little fur action. I have a little nude sweater on. I have an orange hoodie from Aritzia and Sharon's jacket. There's Sharon going at it. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, hey guys, so this is the result. We have Karen in a leather jacket, a studded cardigan. Put it on your shoulders. Put it on your shoulders. Um, and a velvet mini skirt. Baldeep is in a red fur jacket, a sheer polka dot blouse, show be. A sheer polka dot blouse and a pair of mid, like light wash skinny jeans, kind of, sorry. Like a bit of like a, like, I don't know what you call this fit. Boyfriend. <laughs> and then, yeah, Karen show, put your hands down. So we kind of have like cool girl edgy vibes and we have like a little more bubbly, Alice and Olivia girl vibes, right? I, give you. I don't think these are our, our personalities. I don't, I don't think these are our personalities. Who said it was your personalities? I'm, what, how did you, what, what gave yeah. you this? Which, why did you Please want to walk us like through. I why? thought this look would suit Karen. I love a good mini skirt moment generally. And I like, I like that sweater. And then I thought it needed something oh, to complete it, which is the jacket. Then with, the then with B, I feel like I've never seen her in a color. So I just saw the red and I knew she likes fur coat, like faux fur or whatever. So I just put it on her and it was hanging. It was literally, the coat was with those two things and I just picked them all up at once and was like, this is it, this is B's look. All right, on to the next look. On to the next. Okay, so they're back in the second look, dress girls. So Karen has on this like blue <laughs> sequin. Um, like v-neck sparkly dress and I had to put the jacket on put like one hand to the side like this nice and then B has on this like black and white kind of I don't even know what you call this floral dress um, and then she has on that red <laughs> she has on the red uh, fur coat on top Karen can you take off the jacket it look good and on the sleeves for Karen's they're kind of like ruffly and I think it looks really good actually Nice. Okay, guys. See That's later. it for looking. See you look close. Hi, guys. Uh, so we left the mall. Now we're back in central London. Um, we just took the subway from Stratford to Euston Square. And we are going to the Welcome Collection. Um, so pretty much, I study art history in this past semester. I took a class called Collecting and Collections. And we visited this museum because it's all objects that were owned by this one man, like, I don't know, something, something welcome, that's his last name. And we just went into one exhibit called like Medicine Man or something, because I guess he had a really big interest in like medical equipment or medical related stuff. And it was just like really cool. It doesn't sound like something I'd be interested in, but there was some really dope stuff in there. So I wanted to show Karen and by extension B, because she's here and it's free. So like, why not? And it's quite small. So yeah, we're going to go do that. This is the atmosphere. This is the Rothka Mahal.
to dinner. We're at a place called NAC. It stands for North Audley Canteen. I guess it's like a little modern French bistro. Um, here are the girls. And I can kind of show you the vibe of the rest. Oh, sorry. And we ordered a bunch of like small plates and little apps so we can get kind of like a wide variety of the menu. And of course, we're going to try their like cookie dessert thing, which is kind of like what they're known for. And um, we'll let you know after how it is. Okay, also before the food comes, I just want to give a special shout out to Munfrey and Jump Jaws. Hi guys, I hope you guys liked this video and um, I know you guys wanted me to vlog and are waiting for me to upload, so I hope that this video is good enough instead. Bye guys. Okay, so the food is here. Um, first we have this panko chicken. That was bees. This is choice. Then we have the tiger pond tacos, which is my dish of choice, which a bee can't eat. Um, this is truffle mac and cheese. We have some sweet potato with creme fraiche. We have this huge cauliflower. And then we have some frites, aka french fries. Bon appetit, aka bon appetit. The dessert. It's a chocolate chip cookie with soft serve ice, ice cream and cornflakes, and it's literally so good. The cookie's just super soft and delicious, and it really makes up for the food, which was kind of average, below average, but this is really good. I recommend it. Okay. Hi, guys. So it's the end of the night. We're back home. This vlog is almost completely edited and I realized I did not have an outro. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my takeover. Um, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you're not already, um, share it with your friends, family, whatever. And I hope you enjoyed seeing my perspective on our London adventure. And if you like this, be sure to tell Karen and Baldeep and maybe I can do another one while they're here. Bye guys, good night, see you later.